Hi you guys, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so this morning I have a new video series announcement um, and I kind of want to talk about where I'm going with all of this stuff that you see on my desk. Um, so about a year ago I did a junk journal um, that was a design team project for Crafty Lisa's Vintage. And I am still on her design team a year later, uh, and I actually got the same themed sale design team kit. So I wanted to see what the differences would be, um, like between last year's journal with the same theme and this year's journal. Uh, so I've picked out my supplies. These are the things that I'll be using to make the journal. Um, so I've got my entire design team kit here. I've got all my papers and then my textiles that I want to make the cover with. Um, I may I may pull a few things from my stash, but this is like what I want to craft the whole journal from for the, the majority of it. Um, so yeah, over the next few weeks, I want to craft this journal with you. Um, now I've done start to finish journals like starting the whole entire project from scratch and gone through the entire process of making the cover um you know making or folding and embellishing the pages making the ephemera etc cetera, etc cetera. and it usually ends up being um between four and five videos uh and this is on my Patreon. I want to keep the videos a little bit shorter here on YouTube uh, just because it seems like you guys like shorter videos. If I'm mistaken in that, please, please, please leave me a comment and just say that you like longer videos um, or just tell me your preference in the, vi in the comments below. Uh, anywho, so I'm going to show you guys what I've got here. Um, I've kind of un- done all of the little packets of ephemera uh, that Lisa sent me, uh, but I have not gone through it, so it's all just kind of been piled up. Um, sorry if this is bothering anyone, but um, yeah, I just kind of unpacked everything and then pulled my papers and had this idea that I wanted to do <laughs> a whole journal series with you guys uh, today, actually. Um, like, it's something that has been on my mind for a while, but it, this was just, like, one of my favorite journals that I made last year. So, uh, I wanted to kind of recreate the process here on YouTube. Okay, let me just make sure I'm in frame. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys all of the ephemera. I'm going to speed this part of the video up and set it to music just because there is so much to go through.
so my, <laughs> you guys know I'm a sucker for labels, so I think my favorite thing out of the entire package was probably this French label here. Um, just because it combines two of my favorite things, French, ephemera, and labels. And so I'm definitely going to find a special place in that, uh, in the journal for that. Uh, I am obsessed with all these labels, so... Of course, I love, love, love them. Um, okay, so all that aside, um, roadmap. So I'm planning to release videos on Saturdays and Wednesdays, hopefully. Uh, so I'll try to have this journal done over the next two weeks. And hopefully you guys are okay with that timeline. My life is super duper busy right now. Um, just the way <laughs> the way things are and um so yeah I don't I don't really have a lot of time to record and edit videos on top of everything else that we've kind of got going on um regarding Lisa's sale uh so this this sale was originally scheduled for March and I think that what she's doing she did have some like obviously unplanned health concerns that came up and put her out of commission for about a month, uh, unfortunately. So I'm not sure if she is planning to just postpone this sale from March until this month in April or just skip it all together. Either way, I know for a fact that Lisa will absolutely do a custom order for anyone, anytime. Um, so if you see any ephemera from this this little mini stash that she sent me, um, definitely just reach out to her and ask to do a custom order. Um, these things are all things that she has uh, in her shop and available uh, for sale. I'm going to show you quickly the papers that I have planned and then we will jump into the textiles on the next video. And... Um, and yeah, so I'm super excited to get started on this with you guys. It's something, like I said, I've been wanting to do for quite a while. Uh, but for whatever reason, I just have not really felt inspired to um, do a whole journal from start to finish. So I did pick out some recipe book pages from my stash. Um, so these are all books that I have sitting on my shelf that like I rarely use recipe book pages but I love I love them um so I do have a few and yeah usually my mom snags any vintage <laughs> vintage uh recipe books that I find um so anyway just a piece of yellow lined paper a vintage ledger page that I'll use both as a page in the journal and also obviously for some um, collage or like tag backer or what have you. Um, and then another vintage ledger sheet. Just has some handwriting on it. And then I've got a couple of dyed papers. Uh, so this one is a rose-eyed paper from Paper Art Alessandra, and I'll link, I'll link Lisa's information and Alessandra's information in the description box. These two sheets are from, um, Sharika Postal Love, so I'll link her information too. Uh, and then this was one of my experiments last weekend. I, I don't normally like dyeing papers, but I had these roses that were all wilty and they actually made like this really pretty yellow paper, <laughs> uh, which was unexpected. Uh, and then I have this page from a gardening book and it just had fruits on it. So I like that. And then this from a vintage advertising book. So I like that it kind of matched the color schemes of yellow and green on this side and then it had the nice ham on the other side. And then I have printed out a selection of my own digitals. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I was talking about how I have all these gorgeous digitals that I never really use um, in my own journals. 
So like I'm so concerned with using all vintage papers that I neglect my own digitals from my shop. Um, <laughs> so that's something that I want to change and I've just gone through and kind of printed up a, like a mix matched um, run of digitals and did some double sided and then just one um, single sided. And you guys are getting a sneak peek, if you're still with me up to this point, you're getting a sneak peek of two digitals that I have coming to my shop in the coming week. Um, so one is kind of another botanical, kind of greenish, uh, continuing in the same theme of like the botanist desk kit. So I know a lot of you guys really love that one. Um, and so I've kind of added more florals to that and uh and yeah like i've changed the coloration on this vintage wallpaper uh to be more green and yeah so i've just kind of like my style in designing digitals has evolved slightly uh since i made the botanist death kit and so yeah these two pages are from the new kit that are that is coming this week on the 15th and yeah so hopefully you guys like that this is from my french telegrams kit this is um from my forget me not kit this is from the botanist desk so yeah i've just kind of like pulled pages from different kits uh that i felt kind of fit with the theme this one has that gorgeous menu on it uh, and then this is the other kit that I'm releasing. Um, so sometimes I just like to release curated sets of like vintage papers, vintage ephemera. And I've come across some old William Morris patterns. And so I've come up with a digital of uh, 15 of his different designs and they're all full page sheets like like these two um i felt these two fit with the theme pretty well uh, and then this was from my sitting room two kit and then this is also from that new um botanical kit so i love this pattern and then this is also the new botanical garden or botanical kit um I haven't named it yet, <laughs> uh, but this is also a William Morris paper or pattern. Um, so I have like the clean, non grungy version in the William Morris set. And then I have this version in the botanical set that I'm releasing and they should be coming out on the same day. I've actually got three kits coming on that same day. So stay tuned. I'll be posting on Instagram about that. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys are excited, as excited as I am about this project and will stay with me through its completion. Until next time, take care and happy crafting.